G'day guys, welcome to Yena Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I wanted to talk to you about my beauty empties. Now technically this video is kind of like December 2019 beauty empties, but let's not live in the past. Let's just call it my January 2020 empties and let's get on with the video. Now, I'll give you a quick description on what an empties video is for these first timers. If you don't want to listen to me yap on about what an empties video is, I'll leave a timestamp here so you guys can get straight into the video. But for those who don't know what empties are, I personally love doing empties because unlike first uh, impressions, you don't really get a proper impression on what a product is like until you really use it for a little while. I mean, there are some things obviously that you can use that you know straight away whether you just don't love it. <laughs> and obviously there's a couple of other products that you know straight away that you do love it. But for the most part, most products you need to use a few times to get sort of like an idea on whether you love it. And that's what I love about these videos. I will show you everything that I've used either whether it was in the last month or the last two months. In this box, it's the last month and a few days, and I'll let you know my honest opinions on how they worked for me. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to work for you, but this is how I feel about the products, so if you're interested, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is this packet of water wipes. Now I don't know if the brand is actually called water wipes or whether the product itself is called water wipes. Um, I'm trying to find a website here. Uh, yeah, www.waterwipes.com slash beauty. So I guess the brand is called Water Wipes. Um, these are just supposed to be refresher wipes, I believe. There was two wipes they made for sensitive skin. Um, I, I enjoyed these, but I just don't see a reason why I would buy these. Um, I used to take my makeup off with wipes. This isn't something that I would use to take my makeup off with if I was going to use wipes. And I just find that having like refresher towels and stuff like that, a little bit wasteful environmentally speaking. Um, it's just not something that I would do. It would be handy, I guess, to have some um, if like a toddler made a mess or something like that and you just needed to clean them up. I didn't have any effects with this. I don't have a problem with the product, but it's just not something that I would purchase for myself personally. But um, yeah, check them out. So the next product I want to talk to you about is this Rexona Clinical Protection Summer Strength Time 3. I was watching another YouTuber and she recommended this. In fact, she loves the hell out of this. And I thought, yep, yeah, cool. I needed a new uh, deodorant. And I'm not normally into stick deodorants, but I thought I'd give this bad boy a go. And I liked it. However, <laughs> um, after using it for a week or two, um, I noticed that my partner was sort of looking at me funny. And then eventually he said, what is that smell? And I said, what do you mean? And so I whipped this out and he said, uh, yeah, that smell. And he said that it smelled like toilet spray on me. So, um, mm, that's not the smell I was going for. Um, uh, this is a hard pass for me. I think that, uh, obviously just doesn't mix with my body chemicals too well. Um, I, I think it's a great smell, um, when it's in the tube and, to be honest with you, I thought it smelled all right on me as well, but I wasn't going for um, I wasn't going for the toilet spray kind of scent. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs> the next product I want to talk to you about is a lip balm. It is the Nivea Repair and Protection SPF 15. Um, I really like this. It's nothing special. It's not flavored or scented or anything like that. Um, it's just a basic uh, lip balm. It doesn't have too many harsh ingredients in it from what I've seen from some of the other Nivea lip balms. Um, in fact, I actually just use this. I dab it on my lips just after I'm about to put on um, liquid lip. So I enjoy this and, you know, I can get it from the drugstore or chemist, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'd buy it again. I'm just, I've got other things in the meantime, so... This next product is a staple in my makeup stash. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in the shade Fair Claire. Not that it really matters uh, what shade it is, but I love this. It is the current lightest shade that you can get in this formula, which I wanted a little bit lighter. I mean, this is perfect for um, sort of spot concealing, and I really, really love the formula. I love how it is underneath the eyes, um, but I really wanted just a slightly lighter shade, so I did end up going out and getting two new concealers, which were the Maybelline Fit Me, um, which has a lighter shade than this, and I've also picked up the L'Oreal Better Than a Concealer. Both of those have lighter shades, although... 
I'm not sure about the L'Oreal one yet. I've only tried it once. It's what I'm wearing today. And I'm, mm, I'm not sure yet because I've tried a few new products and I don't know how they're working together. But I think at the moment I still really, really love this Maybelline formula, the Age Rewind. And if they brought out another shade, a lighter shade, I would definitely pick this up and keep it in my collection, especially for underneath the eyes. So love, love, love. Yes, I'm going to repurchase it. Mmm. And the first mask I'm going to talk to you guys about is this Flower Beauty, uh, what is it? Flower, love the way you look, moisturize, uh, moisture boosting sheet mask. Now, for those who don't know uh, what brand Flower Beauty is, what's her name? Um, I've already fucking forgotten. <laughs> oh my god, what's her name? Drew Barrymore? Yeah, it definitely is Drew Barrymore. Why was I thinking? I was getting mixed up with someone and I don't know who I was getting mixed up with. It wasn't Drew Barrymore. Ugh. Anyway, doesn't matter. I tried their sheet mask because our local chemist warehouse, yeah, our local chemist warehouse started stocking her brand and there's not a lot there at the moment, but there's a few makeup items and there was this mask and it was relatively cheap and so I brought it home and whilst I don't hate it, it's not my favourite, it's, uh, it's not one that I would redo again, it didn't blow my mind, in fact, I think I remember a little bit of tingling on my sensitive skin. But I don't remember doing it any, anything that I could call home about or write home about, so... Mm -hmm. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Next up is this White Glow Coconut Oil Shine Whitening Toothpaste. This is fucking disgusting. Like, it's really thick and it tastes like tanning lotion. Like, um, yeah, coconut tanning lotion. I don't think this should be in anyone's mouth um it was it, it was just strange i can't even explain to you it was it was like liquefied marshmallows in your mouth with with tanning lotion it was disgusting um i thought i'd give it a go but no fucking way am i ever going to buy this recommend this no mm -mm. and it didn't even really whiten my teeth so that's shit next up is another mask this is the acai berry vada masks um Hmm. It was okay. It wasn't anything that I remember the next day. Like, I usually know if I love a mask because I love the way that it feels pretty much straight away, but the next day is usually the telltale signs, and my skin was just the same as it normally is the next day. There was nothing special about this, and um, yeah, I can't even remember how much I paid for this, but it's not memorable, so I probably won't pick this one up again. Next product I want to talk to you about is a, well, kind of like a universal body wash, really. This is the Cetaphil Baby Gentle Wash and Shampoo. I buy this for my son, for my toddler, and because I have sensitive skin, he has sensitive skin, and this doesn't sting his eyes. I've tried a lot of um, baby shampoos and soaps and stuff like that, and a lot of them sting his eyes or he freaks out about. I love the smell of this one, and I use this myself. I have um, severe eczema at times, and sometimes I can't use the Dove soap that I love to use, so I will grab this out and use it, and I think it's great. So I absolutely love this. I just wish that it wasn't $8 just for this. Um, that would be a little bit better. I, you know, I'm thinking like six dollars. I could do with six dollars, even then. I mean, it's it's not big. It's two hundred and thirty mil, but I mean, it works, so I'll pay for it. This next product is usually in every single empty videos I make, which is the Dove Original uh, deodorant. I buy this because if I don't wear something like this, I end up smelling like a bush pig. Um, so this is pretty much ride or die for me. I hate using that terminology, but it is what it is. I love this stuff. It's inexpensive. It works for me. Um, whether I put it on before I start sweating or whether I realize I'm sweating and then I put it on, it just works. It's that versatile for me and I love this stuff and I will always repurchase this. The next empty I have for you guys is a shampoo. This is by the brand called Hask and it is the Keratin Protein Shampoo. I freaking love this. There is a few different scents or different types um, and I have two at the moment. I have one that smells like um, mandarins or oranges and what is that one? That is... That is the argan oil. That's the argan oil one that smells like sort of like a mix between oranges and mandarins. I know they sound very, smell very similar, but I think it's more like mandarins than anything else. I don't mind that one, but this one here, the keratin one, not only does this one work better in my hair, but it freaking smells amazing. I, I can't explain to you how good that smells. I mean, I want to tell you this smells like lollies, but I can't actually define what kind of lolly that it smells like, but... Mm. It is sweet, but it's not like sickly sweet. I freaking love it. 
I already have my next bottle, so um, I've kind of dropped it in the shower. So um, this was, I think it was on special. It isn't cheap, but it lasts a long time and it changes my mindset. This isn't just a shampoo for me. Like when I get in the shower, I've had a hard day. The kids have been hassling me. I've got bills to pay and there's outside dramas at home and I just need downtime, but I need to wash my hair as well. I jump in the shower and as soon as I put this in my hair, it's just like everything else just washes away. And and that's why I want to spend the extra money buying something like this opposed to going to the supermarket and just buying a regular old cheap ass shampoo. You know, this, this is more than a shampoo. This resets my mood and <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. You gotta try it. All right. It's good. Try this one. Unless you like citrus, then try the argan oil one, but this one. <laughs> the next product I want to talk to you guys is a really hyped up uh, mascara, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I brought this and I haven't repurchased it and I'm probably not going to repurchase it, but not because I don't love it, but because I want to try a ton of new brands in 2020. And um, yeah, so I do love this. I find that it works on me very, very well. A lot of people said that it's a really dry formula. Um, I don't find it to be a really dry formula. It, it, for me, it lengthens, it volumes. I love the shit out of this. Um, even the doe foot, like the, I mean not the doe foot, the wand is quite thick and chunky. Um, it's kind of like an, a little bit of an hourglass, oh, I'm not going to be able to see that. It's a little bit of an hourglass sort of um, wand and I don't mind that. I I don't know. I like it. I mean, I do prefer those plastic, um, not plastic, like those thin rubber ones. I prefer those but they're genuinely not volumizing for me whereas these ones are. I do love this and I probably will one day end up repurchasing this again but at the moment I am using the um, Essence, the green one, um, Lash Princess, yeah Princess Lash, I don't know, it's the green one, I'll put it on the screen for you guys but I do love this, I'm just not going to repurchase it right now because I've got other things that I want to try. Next up I have two samples from First Aid Beauty. The first one that I have is the Coconut Skin S Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, Safe for Sensitive Skin. I uh, I wanted to love this and maybe I got a bad satchel, I'm not sure, or a bad sample, I'm not sure. But when I went to go and use this, it sort of peeled up and it made like little tiny boogers all over my skin. Um, I couldn't make this work for me. I didn't see anything sort of like super fantastic happening. I actually want to know if you guys have tried this properly um, long term or more than just a sample because I want to know if I got a bad batch because I really do want to try a few more things from this brand. Um, I don't want to just go based off one little sample but for me this sample didn't really work for me and based on that it doesn't make me excited about the idea of wanting to try it unless I can be convinced by other people that this was just a dud. This was just a dud sample and mm. but the other one that I did try was this uh, Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin and look I'm not going to be able to give this the proper sort of review that it needs. It is a sample and with skincare you really need to use it for a few weeks before you can even you know give it a good result I mean uh, get a good result from it because some some products just take that long for the best parts of the product to work. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm rambling on here, but anyway. Um, what I didn't like about this is that the public toilets in Australia have this weird scent in them after they've been cleaned. Um, I think it's like the, the toilet blue or whatever it is that they use, the cleaning products, and that's what this smells like. So when I'm putting this on my face, that's what I'm remembering, and I, um, I don't know whether I could continue to use a product that sort of takes me to a disgusting public toilet every time I used it. Um, the smell doesn't linger, and I guess that's the saving grace for it. So I do want to try this a lot more. In fact, I do want to try both of these products again. I'm just not sure how I feel about spending the money on it. I mean, maybe if I can get it on sale, but uh, yeah, these two products didn't work for me, unfortunately. But I am going to give it another go, and I will let you know if I do end up giving it another go. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Do you have these two products? Do they work for you? Do you get what I mean about the smell of this one? And does this one pill up? So I would love to hear your opinions on these two. The next empty I have isn't really an empty. I just don't like the product. Doesn't mean that the product isn't good. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Nail Color uh, Matte Top Coat. So this isn't a bad product. Um, it does what it says that it does. 
you can put it over the top of any, I don't have nail polish on the moment, you can put it over the top of any nail polish and it'll mattify it instantly. I don't like matte nail polish, I've decided, so, um, and I've tried to give it away and nobody else that I know likes matte nail polish, so we're just going to throw this one away, but it definitely does work and went wild, it's pretty cheap, however it's not cruelty free, um, so yeah, if you like matte liquid, uh, if you like matte nail polish and you've only got like shiny or glossy or whatever, give this guy a go. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is a liquid liner from Steve Laurent. Um, it's got absolutely beautiful packaging, but it is a felt tip um, liquid liner or pen liner, whatever you want to call them. Um, the reason why I don't like this is that I have very, very crepey um, eyelids, I have hooded eyes, I have deep set eyes, and this just skips everywhere. But not only that, I found that Whilst the colour payoff, like, just, I'll show you. Whilst the, um, oh my god. While the colour payoff is pretty good when it's on its own, um, if you're trying to put it over shadow or anything like that, it's piss weak. So, um, mm, for the price and the fact that it sort of skips everywhere, I have a hard time using it. Um, the only thing I like about this is the packaging. So, um, this one's going to be a hard pass. I'm never going to be repurchasing re this one. I am on the hunt for a um, brush liner. So, if you've got any recommendations, just drop me a comment down below, guys. So, this one is uh, not for me either. The next product that I've got, I absolutely love. It is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Hydra. Oh my god. Let's start that again. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Hydrating Cleansing Oil. That's a mouthful. There is nothing simple about the name of this bad boy, but everything else is simple. It's affordable and it does what it says it's going to do. Doesn't burn my eyes, doesn't give me that blurry sort of, you know, vision that you can get with other ones. It's not scented. It just does what it says it's going to do. I have a little bit in there, but I'm literally going to use that to take off this makeup once I'm finished this video. Um, I haven't repurchased this one, and in fact, I'm absolutely devastated that I haven't. I decided I wanted to try another brand, and it's not working out for me. The other one, although it works, it's it doesn't work as well. It's scented, it burns my eyes, it blurs my eyes, and so although it was affordable, it's nowhere near as affordable as what this one was, and nowhere near as good. Now, like every cleanser, you will need to do another clean afterwards, um, whether that's cream or whatever, you know. Whatever, but it works. It melts off everything that I have on my face. It does a really, really good job with my mascara. I absolutely love it, and um, this is the only thing that I can really use that gets off my um, matte liquid lipstick, uh, where the Maybelline uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink ones, they are a bitch to get off. This is fantastic, so I will definitely be repurchasing this one in the future. Now, last but not least, I have two masks from the Body Shop. I have the Aloe Mask and I have the Vitamin E Mask. And while I think that both of these masks are pretty good, I much prefer both of these masks over the Vitamin C one. I was disappointed with the Vitamin C one. I had a little bit of a reaction. Plus, I kind of expected it to smell like citrus. Now, out of these two, the Vitamin E one has to be my favourite. It was the most gentle on my skin. Um, it was the most effective on my skin the next day. This one was good too, but standout was this one. Now, I would repurchase the Vitamin E one. The rest of them are probably not. But I'd only really repurchase this one if I could get sort of like a sale on, you know. Um, Body Shop generally have sales on throughout the year. And if I can get a chunk of these ones, I don't want to pay $7. I know that sounds like a bit of a tight ass, but I prefer my masks to be around about between $3.50 to $5, you know, so um, they've got to be really, really fantastic for me to want to spend more money than that on masks. So I think these guys are fantastic, but um, I've had better. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today for my January 2020 Beauty Empty videos. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked what you saw. And if you're not part of the crew yet and you want to be, click that subscribe button. But don't forget to check the bell and it'll alert you every time that I do upload a video. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch you in the next video. Bye!